Kevin Durant at 6'11", he has a unique advantage. Sort of like what Bob McAdoo had back in his heyday and now Dirk Nowitzki. It's almost like they're shooting in a gym by themselves because it's difficult for a defender to get a hand up in their face. And giving Kevin Durant a clear look at the rim means that you're gonna be taking the ball out of bounds. Now, Russell Westbrook can flat out score, but he has to use a lot of energy and athletic ability to get good looks at the rim. His elevation on his jump shot might be the highest that I've seen in a long time, but it gets it done for him. Now, putting the ball on the floor, Russell Westbrook is always in attack mode. He is one of the fastest players that I have seen with the ball in his hands going from one end to the other. Kevin Durant has to use his teammates a lot to get open, and he struggled in that area at times. Now, defensively, both of these players try extremely hard. Kevin Durant at 6'11 has a difficult time, though, at guarding bigger guys in the post. Russell Westbrook, on the other hand, is tenacious because he is strong, he is quick, and he takes it personal if you try to go at him. So Russell Westbrook gets the edge there. Now let's talk about the intangible. Well, the intangible for Kevin Durant is one, we know he's clutch, right? Lately, he hasn't been as much, but overall in his career, he's been clutch. He can get shots off anytime he wants. Well, Russell Westbrook's intangibles are a little bit deeper there, isn't it? Because he's a triple-double machine, 18 triple-doubles last year. So you know what he's gonna give you. He's gonna give you the scoring, he'll give you the rebounding, where he'll get 10, 11 rebounds from the guard position, which makes him the best rebounding guard in the NBA, and he gets close to nine to 10 assists every game. So Russell Westbrook wins the intangibles. Do you see where I'm going here? Yes. I'm not hesitating. If you want to ask me who's better right now, when you talk about overall game, it's Russell Westbrook. And I'm not backing off of it. Russell Westbrook is better.